Good morning, Titans, and welcome to What's Happening. I'm Shelby Rose Long. And I'm Anna Kaversky. Here's what you need to know for this upcoming week. First up, here's some scheduling you can expect for this and next week. This week, we'll meet with normal classes all five days. And a good thing, too. It seems like we've had a lot of time off. But thanks to our presidents, we've got another four-day weekend coming up. No school from Friday, February 18th to Monday, February 21st. Reminder as well that on Wednesdays, we show up to first period, then Titan Connection time, then resume normal classes after that. Make sure you select your TCT choice in your Student View Flex schedule, and note that some options may be closed. Don't forget that Mr. Ackerman and Miss Home are starting a cooking class. They would love to see you there. And let's not forget Valentine's Day too. As you might have noticed, there have been some festive decorations and even a Valentine's photo shoot put up in the library by some of West's most creative students, Jennifer Oakes and Kaya Cannon. As you might know, February is Black History Month and Henry Baker has something to share with us. Take it away, Henry. Go. Hi, my name is Henry Baker and I am a freshman leadership representative. February is Black History Month and leadership is working to celebrate it. We believe that it is important to embrace diversity while recognizing adversity. Please look out for biographies on important African-American individuals while you're in the halls. Next, we want to introduce you to our new ASB team here at West. Say hello to Winter Johnson, Evan Baker, Bella Rutgers, Noel Schmidt, Lenny Herrera, Ben Williams, Shelby Rose Long, hey Shelby, and Abby Santos. Next, we want to let you know that if you want additional help in classes or want to make up schoolwork, Saturday Schools got you covered. From 8.30 to 11.30, once a month on Saturday, you can take advantage of some extra time from teachers or tutors to get work done. Note that there will be raffle giveaways for tutors and students involved. Make sure you enter through the B-Wing to attend, and also note that snacks will be provided, but transportation will not. The next Saturday school date is February 26th. Since it is second semester, forecasting is coming up soon. In the upcoming weeks, we will show you videos on CTE classes and other electives. But let's start with the basics. Why is forecasting valuable? What's all this? Forecasting. I'm making sure I can get the classes I want. <laughs> they basically give you your classes. What's the point? Well, I've got a lot of options this year. I need to see what classes will actually be interesting for me. Yeah, I've got A days here and B days at CTEC. I have to see what's available for me also. How were you able to do that? Forecasting? I chose to do as many intro classes freshman and sophomore year as I could. And so that actually opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Everything looked boring. Yeah, I knew I wasn't interested in college, but I knew I had to find something interesting. I mean, look at all this career stuff. How did you learn about all these options? Course catalog, listening to boring presentations, and asking questions to the teachers and parents and students. Yeah, I went to the College and Career Center. There was such good information there, it was so helpful. It's important we remember that everybody deals with stress, and we want to show you how Mrs. Dinsmore deals with hers. Just like kind of hitting a low, too, like when you're like, wow, I am so stressed out and anxious that it's affecting my quality of life, then it's like there needs to be. I don't know, a change. If I'm relaxed and I am enjoy being here, uh, <laughs> I think they'll enjoy being around me. Yeah, I'm like an overachiever by nature and I was a perfectionist and like straight A's and college and uh, like always. Totally, and that's I think I kind of started to disassociate my identity with my work. So it's part of who I am, it's part of what I do, it's important, but it's not. There might be, I just have to be okay with this is my value, this is what's important, this is I think is what works best for my students. And I have to like be able to have like shut out the other like external. Jason Torres won the MAPS January promotion guessing the closest amount of pennies in the jar and won $16.50. OSAC is offering financial aid webinars next week. The FAFSA ORSA line by line webinar is scheduled for February 8th at 5.30 p.m. And the Finding Funds and Scholarships webinar is February 10th, 5.30 p.m. Individuals need to register to receive the Zoom link. See Mrs. Ward for more info. Our dance team, the Divine Titans, placed first in a competition on January 29th. These girls are absolutely fantastic. Watch what they can do at an upcoming competition at Sheldon on the 12th or at Sprague on the 29th. Dance on, girls! And make sure when you're throwing away cans and bottles in the commons, you put them inside the bottle-shaped bin. Doing this will benefit the life skills class. And now, some updates for the clubs at West. 
Hi, my name is Roxy Maurer. I am the president of the West Salem High School Harry Potter Club. This is a great welcoming community to be part of. We are currently watching a Harry Potter reunion show on HBO Max. Come to a place where you could be yourself and talk about all things Harry Potter. Our next meeting will be on February 16th during Titan Connection time. Please join our online. I hope to see you there. Who doesn't love a party? On February 28th, the French National Honor Society is hosting a Mardi Gras party from 8 to 10. More details will come soon. Additionally, the National Honor Society and the local Lions Club are hosting a glasses drive, and they want you to bring any of your old glasses that you've never really figured out how to throw away. Come by room B126 to drop them off to benefit families in need. More volunteering. Our students cannot get enough, and we couldn't be more proud. Our Spanish National Honor Society students and Students for Change will be volunteering at United Way on Wednesday the 8th and Thursday the 9th. This will take place after school from 4 to 6 p.m. If you're interested, please contact Mr. Haas or Mr. Kathoseka as soon as possible. We've got some more teaming up with Science National Honor Society, Environmental Club, and Outdoor Club as they partner with the City of Salem to fight off invasives at Daniel Chandler Nature Park. If you're in any of these clubs, make sure you show up on February 12th at 9 a.m with a permission slip signed. Arrive at the site in long sleeves, long pants, closed-toed shoes that you don't mind getting wet and dirty, and of course, your mask. Get your permission slip from Mrs. Kerr in room B119. See you there. Do you have any interest in watching a basketball game this week? All of our teams play against McNary on Tuesday, and our boys play against Mountain View on Friday. At the varsity boys game on Friday, Cheer has a halftime performance. It's pretty great. <laughs> I'm totally not biased. <laughs> Also, on Friday, our varsity swim teams have away meets. We wish all of our athletes good luck in their upcoming games. A big congratulations to Lizzie Bennett for being last week's Statesman Journal Player of the Week. Thank you for all of those that showed Titan pride by voting for our student. Also, great news, Brooks Ferguson has signed with Portland State University. Go Brooks. Please check the newsletter sent to your student email through Student Square to keep up to date with what's happening at school. And if you want to add anything to these announcements, please email Mr. Mayor. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Titan. Titan.